the whole week and still night we're flying close air support. Uh, so it's one of, the, one of the six functions of Marine Corps aviation, uh, near and dear to the hearts of Marines on the ground. The F-35 was designed to do cast and to do it well. It's a very capable aircraft and just coming out here and being able to see like what it can actually do, especially like in a mock deployed environment, it's a test to see where we can take it and what we can do with it. It's important for the future of the aircraft because right now we're laying a lot of the groundwork, a lot of those concepts we're talking about, hey, this works, this doesn't. So the lessons learned we're taking from this exercise is greatly going to benefit us in the future. Hey, this worked, this didn't, we know this can happen and we know we can move forward on what we have to perfect in, uh, in our operations. It's a combination of a bunch of aircraft. So you've got Prowlers, for the Marine Corps you've got the Prowlers, the F-18s and the Harriers and it kind of takes place of all three of those. So whatever all three of those could do separately, this jet can do everything that those can do. I would say that getting, getting the opportunity to come out here and do this for the first time in the history of the program uh, is a milestone that uh, sometimes, in, in my opinion, can far exceed anything else that we've done. Uh, this is what this airplane was built to do, and we're here doing it. And uh, we're doing it well. We're learning lessons, we're making mistakes, uh, but down the line, future F-35 squadron is gonna benefit from what we're doing here, and the, the Marine Corps as a, as a whole is gonna benefit from what we're doing here.